The other day, my aunt called me and sent me this uh, phone picture of her desktop. It's for Windows Defender Security Center. It says it's going to block uh, or disable my computer, and I have to click these buttons to try to fix the problem. Uh, I googled the issue, Windows Defender Security Center ads, and you see a bunch of them. Um, Specifically for the error that's the ads.finance track 2 DL, it appears to be a fake alert. And so if I go back to the screenshot, uh, there's some things that, that stick out. One is uh, usually Windows won't disable your computer, even if you have a virus or spyware. You just use it like normal. Uh, the other thing is uh, uh, the, there's a phone number sort of like the IRS Windows doesn't send phone numbers over to you so be wary of any phone numbers that are included in in like pop-ups and stuff you can Google uh, Microsoft and look for a support number an official support number uh, so there was two things the third thing is I don't know uh, but um, when my aunt got this error message I had asked her to what do you call it see if she could close the browser but you can see from this source see from the screenshot that it's covering the taskbar at the very bottom if you get this maybe you can try clicking f11 f11 key or the escape key to see if you, it can get out of full screen mode hopefully you can get out of screen full screen mode and then have access to your taskbar like you see me over here uh, you can always press control alt delete uh, and then you'll have access to uh, the task manager, but I mean to uh, yeah, task manager. Or you, if you have access to the, the what do you call it, taskbar, right click on there and go task manager. And then in my case, in her case, she just needed to close Firefox. So you right click on Firefox and, and task. I had asked her to restart the machine. She restarted the machine. That's another way you can see if it fixes the problem, restart the machine. But for some reason, uh, that's the bad thing about Firefox sometimes. It saves the last page you went to. So it just ended up refreshing this page. So there's no way for me to know whether or not this was a browser website or if it was an actual spyware installed into the computer. But anyways, most times uh, if you restart your machine, hopefully that will fix your problem. So just wanted to make this video to show this fake uh, fake virus alert thingy that happened to my aunt. I ended up going to her house and when I went to check on the alert, I couldn't get it to load because it was a web page. Um, and I guess someone had reported, uh, reported the website and so it was gone. It just loaded uh, as if it wasn't there. So... Long story short, I think if you get this, it's probably a a, a fake uh, fake ad. And I'll remind you, uh, when you get these kind of pop-ups, don't click any of the buttons, please. You don't know what these buttons are going to do. You're better off trying to close the browser or restart the machine rather than click these buttons because we don't know what they'll do to your computer. So good luck.